Hello my beautiful co-creators, Lilu here, I'm in Mexico, in Amatlan, outside of Mexico City. It's actually such a beautiful, uh, beautiful, serene place. I feel so blessed to be here right now, sitting to Dr. Luis. Hola. Hola, Lilu. <laughs> Encantado que estés aquí. Mm, muchas so gracias. That people like you are here, <laughs> in this beautiful place that for us is like a dream. Yes. This dream that you are waiting for a long, long time, oh. the humanity. Muchas gracias. Um, I, I'm excited to be sitting next to you because uh, you have a successful and you still have a very successful reconstructive plastic uh, surgery practice for 30 years and yet there is this information you said you were contacted by light beings and you had some information that you have received about the awakening about humanity and about some prophecies of the light so this is exciting to receive this kind of information that we're hearing from all around the world but you're saying it as well so you're gonna you're gonna answer my question in spanish and we're gonna subtitle i want to try to do it in spanish or english well what happened a lot of people told me what happened with a plastic surgeon yes in this way and i told them well i think that all the human people around the world could be in our normal work but uh, the only important for the humanity for the human people is the awakening this awakening that then i told you we're waiting for 100,000 years something like this and we could be a plastic surgeon or an engineer or any kind of you could do in, in your day by day but when i was younger i was thinking what happened with the humanity what happened with our brain why just the 10% of our brain we're working with. And I studied medicine, at the time I studied shamanism, and I was in Nepal, India, with the great masters. And I think there are something more that of this life. And the Mayas talk about this more than 1,000 years. Yeah. And they talk that uh, not like a prophecy. They tell about this, what? because we they saw the sky and they have a knowledge of astronomy that well I, you could see the Egyptian and all the cultures in the world but the Mayas is, I told you not a prophecy is they saw the sky and they say all right we have uh, this time and exactly the 21 of December 2012 what happened when the humanity is going to change because a lot of people think that the world is going to finish and i don't know mm -hmm. but uh, no the mayas they're talking of the finish of the time like they know us that finish the fifth soul yeah the, the, the fifth world, world the fifth son yes because they talk that uh, vacuum 144 days if you buy 13 give you 5,000 uh, years. The 5,000 years was uh, one son. And five son is more than 26,000 years. It's the time that the, our system, planet, give around of the orbit of the galaxy. How they know it? Until now we couldn't know how they know it. And they told us when it finished, this round we are going to change and if we know that our DNA and our brain is like a kid well something's happened we're going to be adults for fin yeah so is it is the information that you have received from the Mayan culture or is it directly from light beings how did you receive the information we're going to talk about well, the information that I received from the Maya, where I read it, you will read it anywhere. But I don't know, when you are in meditation, your brain works uh, different. Yeah? That's why in our group of neuroscience, we do a lot of uh, experiments with the brain. And normally we use it just one part of the brain. But now, I, this is new, six months ago in the University of Minnesota, developed when you are in meditation, uh, a new part of your brain is activated. Yeah, they call it the new brain. This is the prefrontal left, it's here. And with this come up, what happened with your brain? Uh, normally, our brain is connected with our subconscious of everybody, no? John called it the uh, inconscient, collective inconscient. You know it, no? 
that all the brains around the world are thinking, and your brain could uh, cap mm -hmm. the things of everywhere. But uh, it's like a um, radio receptor. Mm -hmm. no? You are connected for the radio transmitter of all the human brains. But your brain could have another channel. Mm -hmm. and this is the new brain mm -hmm. that people like, well, a long time ago, with meditation, your brain we connected with another new like, with knowledge, it, universal knowledge. You look like the Vedas, three thousand before Christ. How they know it about the quantum physics? With probably your brain is connected to this new knowledge. And I think when we are in meditation, when you are in very good meditation, this new brain develop and you could connect with more and I think in my case well when I meditation my brain well I have the knowledge about the science by, by one way in the other way I have the knowledge of shamanism they help to my brain to connect to new knowledge but this is the knowledge that is here thrown us but how did you from a scientific perspective were able to open yourself up to receive that kind of information? A lot of the scientific world and a lot of the world today are stuck in the mathematics. How did you open up yourself to this to this to this new information? What is the shift that is needed? Well, I, I think that uh, well in my case when I have the science of knowledge, you know, my back Background. my background this helped me to my brain to know and all these things that I kept or received received well I um, I can talk about this with with science not with the fanatism or something like this that's just the kind of uh, it's a different language my language is science because I know about science but I told you in both sides because I know science and shamanism then in my brain have the two information that's why I could talk about uh, mm -hmm. shamanism or everything about this with science and I know that the people around the world they want to know all, all this but the basis of science not of fanatism mm -hmm. we're changed to this because when you're a kid all right you believe in Santa Claus everything all right but when you're an adult you have to know how it works and that's why this group of narrow saints in this place we try to to teach to the people like an adult all right this is going to happen in 1212 but why all right by the saints by the Nehemiah say that the knowledge that we know about narrow saints your brain could change how okay with meditation and mm -hmm. other things and with this high vibration that we have now that does begin one 11 to 11 to 11 yes just four days ago, is going to open a new dimension to the to 12. And this is science. What's happening in our universe? We have more than four dimensions. Because we know the third dimension and the fourth dimension and the space-time, like all right, Einstein say. But they talk that we have more than nine or ten dimensions mm -hmm. in the universe. And now I think that this fifth dimension or sixth dimension is going to be closer to this fourth dimension that's why our brain begins to know more about because our brain is going to connect to another dimension like the air that's why it's the big change that the mayas talk mm -hmm. but how do you measure that scientifically how do you know that the frequency are higher how do you know our brain is and our body is upgrading how do you know all of this scientifically well scientifically if you put the brain in an electrocardiogram something like this or resonance if you put the brain and you check it before and after the meditation you're going to see this change in these machines on the other hand we found with one brain could affect to the other brain. If one brain is in high vibration, you go, your brain is going to cut it. Mm -hmm. That's why we work here. Instead, my, my brain could do a gamma vibration. All the brains do gamma vibration. But with my experience of this third year, I could do a gamma vibration the time that I want. 
in this moment, if I want to do gamma vibration, your brain is going to feel it. And you pin it like in another dimension. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I began to do gamma vibration, your brain connects your both hemispheres, and you develop the new brain. It's something very simple. Mm -hmm. It's science. Mm -hmm. And that was, and we were able to measure that, uh, the shift since uh, the 11, 11, 11 already. You were able to do some experiments, or is this is something that most people say? Well, no, a lot of people around the world, they work in this 11, 11, 11, no? And the Mayas talk about this, that 11, 11, 11 is going to open like a door, mm -hmm. like a portal, to this new dimension. But what is new dimension? Mm -hmm. What happened with our, our brain? You and me now, our brain works with both hemispheres. But Hopefully. <laughs> well, work, but uh, in vibration, one brain, one part of the brain is here, the left, the right, but not in the same synchronicity. Mm -hmm. All right, the science talk that we, the synchronicity is about um, 40%. Some shamanes, some lamas work on 60 or 70%. Look, it's higher. But what happens is your veins, your both hemispheres, begins to work the same synchronicity. Mm -hmm. This new knowledge that I told you in Minnesota and our science institutes discovered this. A new part of your brain works. When it new part of your brain works, now I feel you like a duality. You are here and here, right? It's the duality of the third dimension. But this new brain, no more duality. Mm -hmm. You feel that everything is connected. Yeah. You and me, we are connected. I feel it now. That's why, because I began to do gamma, and you could perf my vibration in my brain. Me too, I did my gamma thing. Yeah. Yo también, ah, we do that gamma now. No, but it's, it's an open of the heart also. That's the higher energy in our body is the heart. Yeah. Because as you can see, an electrocardiogram is higher than an electroencephalogram. And on, from all the cells of our body, that the more higher frequency, it's from the heart. Mm -hmm. That's why probably we never have cancer in the heart. We mm -hmm. could have cancer in the brain, in the skin, in the bones, everywhere. But in the heart, no. Why? Probably because the, these cells of the heart have a very high vibration. Mm -hmm. That when we begin to work with our heart, all our body begins to vibrate higher. And when you, this high vibration in your brain, I told you, the duality disappears. The ego, like we know, that you're Lulu, I'm Luis, disappear. And we're one. Mm -hmm. And we begin to do this around the world. All the world is going to know that no more different languages, no more different dogmas, no more different countries. We are the same. Mm -hmm. Because in this synchronicity, in this uh, latish, in this, like you won't say, from the quantic system, from the dogmas, everything is connected. But you couldn't find it is you are working with your brain normally, with your ego. You have, and the humanity, that's going to be the big change. I, I saw it like this, that more people around the world is going to work this new brain. The prefrontal left, and we're going to connect with everybody. Mm -hmm. That's the only way that we could change the world. When we understand we, we are connected, like my hand is connected with my brain. The hand is part of me. I couldn't injure my hand. All right, this couldn't thing. All right, that's it. It's the same part of my body. And my, uh, not say people from Africa, people from Europe, is like another part of my body. But 100,000 years, the humanity think that of the duality. We, the duality is the past. The present and the future is this. To feel it's like a one. Mm -hmm. It's just like high energy. And now the earth, I don't know if you hear something about the frequency of the earth is beginning higher from 7 to 12, you know, the Schumann frequency is from the ionosphere, it's coming higher. On the other hand, what's going to happen? In the history of the humanity, the system, our system, never stay at the equatorial of the galaxy because the galaxy is like a bowl and we go this surround 
the galaxy. But now in 212, we are going to be at the Ecuador. And we've never been there before. What is going to happen? Well, some people say, no, we're going to burn with the sun and with the center of the galaxy. It's going to send, I don't know, a very high energy that's going to burn us. No. Probably this high energy produced in our bodies, in our brains, in our heart, this high energy, and we change. Mm -hmm. We're not going to fly, but we're going to connect with everybody. Like you and me, like everybody, want to be one nor two, nor three, nor 7,000 millions. Mm -hmm. It's just one person in the world. Can, can everybody uh, be ready for this uh, higher frequencies? Can everybody accept and welcome those higher frequencies? Or do you think there's going to be some, uh, some um, auto-destruction or some uh, things that are going to happen? Everything's going to happen because everything's going to happen in your brain. The thing you want is the things happen. If you think that everything is going to finish it's going to happen. You are thinking, thinking that something is going to happen, that your brain, that your DNA is going to be up, it's going to happen. Because everything that exists in the universe is by your brain. Because if you close your eyes, if you are not here, the universe not exist. The universe exists because you exist. Then you're going to show it what you want. And on the other hand, a lot of people told me, well, just these people that are thinking this is going to change? No. With a lot of people in the world change, and not a big lot of people, like the, these studies of the critic mass, yeah, is uh, when some people change, the rest of the people change. The hundred monkeys. Yeah. It's resonance, amorphic, amorphic resonance. And it works like uh, the photons, and we have this um, theory that all the thing that we're thinking is connected by the photons, you know, these particles of light. Then if we put more information of this around the world, this is going to receive all the brains of the world. And this is like the hundred monkey. Then now you and me we're going to help to this change with our, we are thinking now, and we're going to do it. That's quite an exciting conversations to have to help humanity. What other information did you get, uh, did, did you receive in those meditations? Did you felt connected to light beings? You didn't answer my question. Did you receive, were you in contact directly from other beings in other dimensions? Can you speak about that? Yeah, I think I told you, um, when you are in very deep in meditation, yeah. something's happening in your brain and um, it's like a dream. Um, like a reality, we never know. Because you see dreaming? Or? No, I was not dreaming, I was in meditation, no. Well, in dreaming I received, well, some information how to build this, uh, but uh, then I wrote in the book, I was in meditation, and I was thinking about this, and um, I was thinking, through another brain, this brain is like another neuroscience, that's why I could understand. It's like, um, not a master, it's like a conscience, surround us, uh, that we connect with another information. I did it in meditation. No? And, uh, so you arrive to a field where everything is there and you know everything and you're everything? I can understand why. So you arrive to a place in your meditation where you are everything and you are the universe and you can access all this information. Is that what you're trying to say? You are in that field where all your questions could be answered. Yeah. Yes, a lot of shamans do it, no? They use the drugs or something like this. I don't understand how some special, no, you know, yeah. hierbas going to help plants, help for... <coughs> you never think how they know it, no? This plant is going to help to for this or for this. Because with the drugs, they connect it to another dimension. But now we don't need to use the drugs. I don't use the drugs. I just use the meditation. Mm -hmm. And when I was in meditation, I could understand a lot of things easily. Mm -hmm. And then after 
you see, oh, this person talking about the same than I was thinking. Mm -hmm. This is a reality, because when we dream around something, it's just a dream. Mm -hmm. But when a lot of people were dreaming the same, it's the new reality. Mm -hmm. That's why I invite everything, no? that we have this kind of dream. Mm -hmm. Everybody has to dream in the world about this new possibility. I've changed the world, but we have to change the world, we change to us first. To try to be more in high energy, be happy. We try to be happy because um, what's the sense of life? You tell me. It's to, it's to good feel in your heart why you decide to live in this body. Just to eat, just for money, just just for that, like a lot of animals in the world, we have conscience. That we have to understand that our spirit, our conscience, decided this. But in this 1,000 years, we are sleepy. Mm -hmm. Now we have to wake up. And this is the, the awakening of the humanity, that the humanity <laughs> yeah, why I'm here? You feel like you are here. You are working with this because you feel it, mm -hmm. but not feel it from here. Mm -mm. You feel it from your heart mm -hmm. no? that you have to do this. Mm -hmm. And I think the same. And a lot of people in the world are thinking the same. Then this is the beginning. And the, the, I think this year that from, I don't know, we have. One year from the 21 of December, probably nothing's happened. Because the people want to be something, no? It's <laughs> going to happen and we're going to fly, or it's a big change. Mm -hmm. Now, the change is now. Yeah. Now, looks so around the world, a lot of people are talking about the same. Then, the change is now. Yeah. And I think this, this is the way that we are going to do. Uh -huh. And so how do you create, how did this vision came to you? I know we're, we're, you have, there is an ashram here, there's mm -hmm. a place where you meditate and you have your other place there with the pyramids and it's like, it's like, it's like stepping in a, in a dream here, it's like stepping in another dimension when you're here. Well, so you, you made it, you, it's like you brought it from the dream state to the, to the reality somehow. How do you create in life? Well, this I, I created from dreams, no? I don't know what... Three o'clock in the night, I wake up and I have a dream. And then I paint everything, and the next day I begin to do it. The other day is by synchronicity, you know, like the pyramid. This place is the one friend who works in the NASA as a nuclear physics. He developed this the higher vibration in the world, in the underworld. Then that's why we build uh -huh. that pyramid. You just stay into the pyramid, the vibration is the highest that you could feel in the earth. And this is uh, like a toys here that helps us to our brain works different. Like the ashram is an octagonus and um, the subsuelo, how do you say subsuelo? Um, the underground here have a lot of ferrita. And the ferrita is a mineral that he help to our brain to work better. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we have some tubes, microtubes into on their brain and the neurons are connected to these microtubes. Dr. Roy Penrose in South California in 1997 discovered it and uh, well now they found that the people with have some disease like um, Alzheimer, these uh, tubes they are closed, collapsed. When these tubes are perfectly right, your brain works better that when you have a lot of ferrita in underground, all these tubes are very firm. That's why probably when we are here or in the ashram or the pyramid, our brain works different. Mm -hmm. That's why they come this dream that I have. But I told you, this place is a dream mm -hmm. because it was due by this dream that I have and the people of our group have the same dream. That you are not in some reality now. Now you are in a state that Lucy said like a dream. It's not real. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so that's neuroplasticity when we can actually influence the neural pathways in our brain. 
the what you said we can we can um, we can connect yeah, and and reconnect and recreate neuroplasticity yeah, do plastic we until 20 years ago we know that we don't have neuroplasticity we do born with some neurons and the neurons die and not new now now something different that we have this new plasticity and your brain every day could be have this potentially of neuroplasticity then this kind of places help to this neuroplasticity and in the other hand um, you could create a new ways of connection yeah the protein connection but normally the connection that we have in our brain that we know something that some is chemical by the neurotransmitter but when you have a, a connection of proteins it's forever because you are created a new brain into your brain mm -hmm. this is the plasticity the capacity of our brain to create a brain into your brain mm -hmm. He hears like uh, schizophrenic things, but no, it's really. Mm -hmm. And this other brain is the supraconscious, something that is looking the world through your duality. Now I'm looking to you, okay? I'm and Luis, but that happened if I do this. First of all, I'm looking my nose, the nose of Luis. Mm -hmm. Then here is Luis to Lilo, mm -hmm. but here is another Luis looking through Luis to you, mm -hmm. and you can feel the difference. Yes. If I feel you like this, <laughs> yeah, that is you. This is the new yeah. humanity. Is the how you say the job servante? How you could say in English? Job observer. observer. Yeah, we have to create the observer. Yeah, because the, the observer is the spirit, mm -hmm. the super conscience. It's another conscience, yeah. because this conscience that we are here, we're suffering a lot. Because I could tell you something, you're going to feel bad. If I hurt you, you're going to feel. Because you do this, no. Because this conscience, they don't have a duality, they don't have a body. It's just conscience. That is the difference. <laughs> That's why we work in this place, yes. because this place is... A, something that uh -huh. helps to do this uh -huh. it's confusing the the heart there's the heart there's a physical heart there's a heart chakra there's the brain there is the third eye you're talking about seeing it through different eyes yeah. where are we where is this all happening well these chakras the first three chakras they are doing for the third dimension of fats the basic chakras we have the four chakras the heart but the other three chakras, this, this, and this, they are not very physical chakras, not the third dimension. This chakra is probably for fifth dimension, because it's from the spirit. No? Then I think the heart is the machine that is going to begin that uh, this tree works. That's why I told you, we have to open the heart. Yeah. And open the heart is to permit that this high energy from the heart begins to work in our body, in our, these three chakras. Yeah. But the heart has a heart chakra, not that the heart physical heart? Well, I think that first of all, you have to know where your heart, yeah? Like physical, all right, it's here. But uh, you feel it like a vibration. Yeah, uh, when you open your heart, all right, not exactly the heart like uh, yeah. this muscle. No, it's this energy that we have here that we some that sometimes we feel it. We, when we feel the love, yeah. the really love, uh, you feel something here. Not here. This is emotional. Yeah. But here is something very different. Yeah. And when you open it. Something is like an explosion in your brain and in your yes. all your body begins to work. Yes. Then uh, I think that uh, is the key of this two, 212. Yes. This is the key of the of this change to open the heart. Thank you, Luis. No, thank you. I think you have another thing to say. If there is a last thing you want to share. Well, only I want to say that. Um, we have the opportunity, uh, like everything in the in the life. Just sometimes we have one opportunity, and with the choices, 
to leave it or to take it. That's the only thing they want to say. Take it or leave it. Everything is uh, in our brain, in our mind, in our heart, like everything in the life. If we have it, take it. If not, leave it. I think that most of the people in this beautiful planet, we're going to take the opportunity of this big change. Thank you, Dr. Lewis. It was such an honor to spend this moment with you. I know you're very, very busy, and these are the conversations that are worth having. Thank you. No, thank you. For me, it's a beautiful experience to stay in this place with this energy that you have, because I feel your energy from your heart, from <laughs> your body. That's why you're working with this. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Much love to all the beautiful co-creators around the world. Thank you for watching and thank you for sharing this video. These are important messages right now. Much love. Bye. information you said you were contacted by light beings and you had some information that you have received about the awakening about humanity and about some prophecies of the light so this is exciting to receive this kind of information that we're hearing from all around the world but you're saying it as well so you're gonna you're gonna answer my question in Spanish and we're gonna subtitle I want to try to do it in Spanish or English well what happened a lot of people told me what happened with a plastic surgeon Yes, in this way. And I told them, well, I think that all the human people around the world could be in our normal work, but uh, the only important for the humanity, for the human people, is the awakening. This awakening that, then I told you, we're waiting for 100,000 years, something like this, and we could be a plastic surgeon or an engineer or any kind of you could do in, in your day by day. But when I was younger, I was thinking, what happened with the humanity? What happened with our brain? Hello my beautiful co-creators, Lilu here, I'm in Mexico, in Amatlan, outside of Mexico City. It's actually such a beautiful, uh, beautiful, serene place. I feel so blessed to be here right now sitting to Dr. Luis. Hola. Hola Lilu, encantado que estés aquí. Mm, 
Muchas gracias. Que people like you are here in this beautiful place that for us is like a dream. Yes. This dream that you are waiting for a long, long time. The humanity. Muchas gracias. Um, I, I'm excited to be sitting next to you because uh, you have a successful and you still have a very successful reconstructive plastic uh, surgery practice for 30 years and yet there is a... Like they know us, that finished the fifth soul. Yeah, the, the, the fifth, fifth world. Song. world. The fifth song. song. Yes, because they took that uh, vacuum, 144 days, if you buy 13, give you 5,000 uh, years. The 5,000 years was uh, one son. And five son is more than 26,000 years. It's the time that the, our system, planet, give a run of the orbit of the galaxy. How they know it? Until now, we couldn't know how they know it. And they told us when it finished, this round, we are going to change. And if we know that our DNA and our brain is like a kid, well, something's happened. We're going to be adults. <laughs> Por fin. Yeah. So, is the, is the information that you have received? Why just the 10% of our brain we're working with? And I studied medicine, at the time I studied shamanism, and I was in Nepal, India, with the great masters and I think there are something more that of this life and the Mayas talk about this more than 1,000 years yeah. and they talk that uh, not like a prophecy they tell about this right, because we they saw the sky and they have a knowledge of astronomy that well I you could see the Egyptian and all the cultures in the world but the Mayas I told you, not a prophecy. Is they saw the sky and they say, "All right, we have uh, this time." And exactly the 21 of December 2012, what happened when the humanity is going to change? Because a lot of people think that the world is going to finish, and I don't know. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, the Mayas they're talking of the finish of the time. From the Mayan culture, or is it directly from light beings? How did you receive the information we're going to talk about? Well, the information that I received from the Mayas, where I read it, you will read it anywhere. But I don't know, when you are in meditation, your brain works uh, different. Yeah, that's why in our group of neuroscience, we do a lot of uh, experiments with the brain. And normally we use it just one part of the brain. But now, I, this is new, six months ago in the University of Minnesota, developed when you are in meditation, uh, a new part of your brain is activated. Yeah, they call it the new brain. This is the prefrontal left, it's here. And with this come up, what happened with your brain? Uh, normally, our brain is connected with our subconscious of everybody, no? John called it the uh, Inconscient, collective inconscient. You know it, no? That all the brains uh, around the world are thinking, and your 